All right, folks, something new for you to try. I don't remember where I picked this up at, uh, but it's chicken and sea brand, crispy, stuffed shrimp, creamy wonton style. What's not to love? And it comes with a dipping sauce. I love crab rangoons. I love shrimp. I think this is going to be fantastic, but we're going to find out together. Join me. Ciao, y'all. Now, now, today. Alright, so this is Chicken of the Sea brand, so a reputable name. That's always a plus. I cannot remember where I picked this up at. I'm all over the place all the time now, so who knows. But uh, you can look for it. It exists because I found it. You get eight pieces, and I can't remember how much this costs. I've had it in the freezer for like a month. I just never got around to making it yet. I've been so busy. Anyway, it says, um, let's, let's find out a couple of things here. Uh, this is uh, distributed by Chicken of the Sea, Frozen Foods, El Segundo, California. And it's, uh, let's see, farm raised product of Thailand. And uh, it says the, it has a plum sauce that comes with it. This is sugar, water, fructose syrup, plum, salt, citric acid, and guar gum. And then uh, the shrimp. It says it contains shrimp, milk, anchovy, soy, wheat, and coconut. Right. So uh, we're going to, I think we'll deep fry this. So this is a uh, preheat vegetable oil to 350. Carefully place four to five frozen shrimp in the hot oil. Fry about three to four minutes till golden brown and crispy. For the sauce, it says uh, thaw frozen sauce packet at room temperature for 15 to 30 minutes. All right, we can do all that. It says for a little zest, add fresh grated ginger or crushed red pepper. Nice. Okay, so uh, let's do this. Let's see what. Let's open it up and see what it looks like and uh, get, get going on it. All right, so comes in a Krayovac package, like so. We get eight pieces. Those are nice and big, and uh, it's big pieces. Let me see if I can zoom out a little here. There we go. That's pretty nice, huh? Eight big shrimps and then the, the sauce here. All right, so I got them out there, and they uh, just smelt them. They smell absolutely delicious. Uh, I think this is going to be an excellent product. It looks like they're almost par fried, so I was thinking maybe the oven, but uh, we'll go ahead and fry them. All right, folks, so I decided to make an executive decision here. I'm going to go with the uh, conventional baked method, so I got a little uh, cookie sheet tray here, pizza sheet pan. Spray it down good. I don't feel like screwing with the whole uh, mess of uh, fried oil and stuff left over after only eight shrimp, since we're not frying anything else. And these look par fried, so I think that's going to be a perfectly fine way to do this. Okay, so we got all eight on there. I sprayed the uh, bottom of the sheet. We'll go ahead and spray over the top here just to make sure they crisp up good. Almost out of spray, folks. Come on, come out. I just need a little more. Well, my can is the only thing it's doing is depleting the ozone layer. It's not really uh, spraying much grease out, but anyway. All right, let's see what I said here on the conventional oven method, because that just seems more reasonable for only this little bit of stuff. Okay. Ah, uh, conventional oven, here we go. Preheat oven of 400 degrees, place frozen shrimp one inch apart to the underside tail facing up and even in the dish. Uh, place on a nonstick baking sheet or in the middle of the rack. Bake for eight to 10 minutes, okay. So I'm gonna start them like this and then I'm gonna probably flip them halfway and make sure they they brown all the way around. So while well, that's baking in the oven, I figured I might as well uh, make a little stir fried rice. I'm gonna do a little beef fried rice. All right, folks, let's pull them out of the oven. I flipped them twice, so they're looking beautiful. Look at that. Oh yeah. Those look delicious. And I'll tell you what, folks, they smell better than Teen Spirit, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a Nirvana in my mouth. 
Well, alrighty, folks. Let's uh, give this a try. It sure looks good. Smells good. It's uh, nice and crispy. And uh, here's my little. I got this on a plate here with the sauce and the rice. If you're looking to make the fried rice, I have several videos on fried rice. I just look back. I just did one not too long ago. Complete fried rice video. Check that out. And uh, yeah, if you like. Crab Rangoon and you like shrimp, this looks to be right up your alley. Or for my Canadian friends, right up your lane way. So I am glad I went with the uh, traditional oven method instead of deep frying, so it really didn't need deep fry. All right, let's give this a try. And that just burned my mouth off. Uh, that's gonna sting for a day or two. Anyway, very tasty, very crispy. Perfect, so it's good for an oven recipe or an air fryer. You don't need a deep fry. And one thing I really like about this uh, product is the sauce is very complimentary and not overpowering. A lot of times you get something like this, the sauce is just overpowering and overtakes the flavors. This one's very complimentary, so uh, good job on the, on the sauce pairing. All right guys, so uh, this product gets a big uh, thumbs up from the chef I think it's a great product and uh, I think you will enjoy it too so if you see it pick some up I want to thank you for watching and we will see you guys next time peace out everybody